So, in Remnant 2, we have some secret weapons that can be found. You're going to get a bunch of cool stuff from doing this. And first and foremost, you need to make sure you have the right world roll. I don't know how to guarantee that you've got every single dungeon you need, but I'm pretty sure as long as you find, like, one of the pieces you need, then the other dungeons will be available in the Rood. So that is the world you need to start with. You need to make sure you are playing in the Rood. Not Yasha, not Losum. It has to be Narud. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is locate the NPC called the Custodian. We had him spawn in a place called Ascension Spire, which was found in the Abyssal Rift. And as long as you have him, search around the area, like within the same part of the Ascension Spire, there was a piece of floor missing that we could drop down into. When we got down there, there were two lifts we could take, two elevators, one on the left, one on the right. Plus there was also like a vendor thing in the middle. If you take the elevator to the left, it's going to take you back up out of that building. If you take the elevator to the right, it's going to take you down to where this machine is. And this machine is incredibly important. So starting off, you need to find a dungeon called Terminus Station. You will need to get to the very, very end of this dungeon that is going to include taking down the moving train the moving train is basically going to give you a timer you've got to get through every single carriage to the very end of it before the voiceover thing tells you that the train is going to crash and you're going to die incredibly morbid but once you've made it to the end you're going to be let off the train then you are going to see an extra carriage that's at the front that you didn't have access to so you need to make your way around in this facility get to the upstairs section and jump across onto the top of that front carriage there's going to be a hatch that lets you in you are going to get a melee weapon the atom smasher out of this but you are also going to find something called the decorum cipher that is the part you need to make progress to unlock like the ultimate weapon we're looking at but the atom smasher is one of the weapons that's secretly found in the rude so you can either keep that piece on you or do what me and pete did we went back to where the custodian npc is drop through the floor go down on the elevator go into the room and put the decorum cipher in the machine you're going to go through, you're going to get a reward, but there's another layer to it. So we need to find another item. So then what you are going to want to do is you are going to find the Dormant Nerudian Facility Dungeon. And what you're going to do is make your way all the way around the dungeon, complete the dungeon again, and then you're going to see a section at the back of the dungeon that's got railings, but there's going to be one piece of the railing that's missing. You need to drop down there, follow that all the way through, and you are going to get to a room where you can find an item called the Biome Control Glyph. So pick that item up, you're going to need that, and then what you want to do is make your way back to the very start of the dungeon, if it works exactly the same way it did for me and Pete. There might be a little bit of RNG in the locations of rooms and stuff, but right at the beginning of the dormant Nerudian facility for us, there is a door that you bang on a couple of times, you need to like give it an item to open it. So what you do is you use the biome control glyph, you open that door, and inside you are going to find something called a memory core. You are also going to find an amulet in there, really, really helpful. Helpful. But once you've got the memory core, you then travel back to Ascension Spire again. You drop down under the custodian NPC, go down the right elevator, and you are going to put that memory core into that machine. And that is going to remove the second layer of basically security. And there is your pulse rifle. This is an incredible weapon. You can put a load of different mods on it. It's a three round burst and it's actually the starting weapon for the engineer archetype. So if you've picked up the engineer like amongst your playthrough and you really want to test out the main weapon, this is how you get your hands on it, providing you found that role in the route. So you might need to roll an adventure after completing in the world or something like that but you do not need to start a fresh campaign using the engineer archetype as your main archetype so that you can get your hands on this pulse rifle you can just pick it up as you're playing through providing you get the right role on the world and that is exactly how to get some secret weapons in the rude in remnant 2 and on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.